again, it is uh, Colloquial Vietnamese and today is lesson 2. We will learn some ways to say yes and no. And I promise this is not just có and không as you already know. Okay, so um, let's do it. So first of all, I will uh, remind you of uh, the basics of the yes no question. And we have three types. The first one is with the word à at the end and this is used when you want others to confirm what you were saying um, and to respond to that we have the word vâng if you're talking to somebody older ừ or ờ uh, if you're talking to somebody younger không if you want to say no um, the second one which is the most polar type is có and không at the end and to respond to that it's just simple có for yes and không for no and the last type is um, with chưa at the end. So this one is yes no question, but it is related to the um, um, to something that you have done um, before, not yet or already. Okay, so um, um, let's look at some examples very fast. Um, anh làm xong bài rồi à? Ừ, vừa mới xong. Anh làm xong bài rồi à? Ừ, vừa mới xong. Um, so uh, have you finished doing your work? Yeah, just finished. Hôm nay em có phải đi làm không? Hôm nay em có phải đi làm không? Có, em vẫn phải đi làm cả ngày. Có, em vẫn phải đi làm cả ngày. So không at the end. Um, today, do you have to go to work? Yeah, I still have to work the whole day. Um, the last example. Uh, chị đọc quyển sách của thầy Nam chưa? Chị đọc quyển sách của thầy Nam chưa? Chưa, chị chưa đọc. Dạo này bận quá. Um, so have you read the book of uh, teacher Nam? Um, no, not yet. Um, Recently, I'm very busy. So you can see that this one with the chưa at the end. So um, the response is chưa. This one, this one is with the không at the end. So the response is không and có. And the first one is with the a at the end. So we have to respond with u. So that's the basic. Let's learn something new. All right. So uh, the first thing is to say yes. We have um, some phrases like this. Đúng rồi. Correct. And this one is easy, right? Uh, tất nhiên là có. Definitely, yes. So we have the word đất. So we have the word tất nhiên is for of course, certainly. Um, chuẩn, không cần chỉ. Chuẩn, không cần chỉ. Um, well, I would say this one is quite informal. So uh, be careful um, because we can just use it with our friends and not someone like our boss or our grandparents or something. And it means that it is just perfect and you don't need to adjust anything. Um, còn phải hỏi à? Còn phải hỏi à? So that one is quite informal too. And it is all only used when you are talking to somebody younger than you. And it means, yeah, of course. And you don't have to ask, right? You don't need to ask. Duyệt. Duyệt. It is used in all situations and it means, yeah. Ok, ok, and then you can say được cái này hay, được cái này hay. So yeah, this one is interesting. So for example, ngày mai có đi Vũng Tàu chơi không? Tất nhiên là có. Ngày mai có đi Vũng Tàu chơi không? Tất nhiên là có. Tomorrow will you go to Vũng Tàu for fun? Yeah, definitely, yes. Alright, the, the second example. Em làm thế này đã được chưa? Rồi, chuẩn. Em làm thế này đã được chưa? Rồi, chuẩn. Um, is it okay that I do it this way? Yep, definitely. So, right. So you can see that the person that said chuẩn is older than the other person because the pronoun is am for someone younger. So that's why he can use it or she can use it. Alright, now some phrases just say no. Um, we have a lot, but I think most of them are quite informal. So uh, let's look at it. First, we can say, oh, cái gì cơ? If you want others to repeat what they are saying, what? Right? Oh, cái gì cơ? Cái gì cơ? Um, if it's fast, this sounds like this. Cái gì cơ? All right. And we have some ways such as điên à, thần kinh à, dở hơi à. Um, all of them means, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I don't believe in what you're saying. So, um, yeah. Điên à, thần kinh à, dở hơi à. And, yeah, they are very informal. Or you can say, ai bảo? 
Ai bảo? Who said that? Who said that? Đùa. Đùa. And we say it very fast. So the second word is like linked to the first one. Đùa. Okay? And it means are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Còn lâu mới tin. Còn lâu mới tin. Um, it means no, I don't believe you. So, còn lâu mới tin. It is a long way until I believe it. So it's like I will not believe it under no circumstance. Còn lâu mới làm. I will not do it under no circumstance. Còn lâu mới đi. I will not go there under no circumstance. Or còn lâu mới học. I will not do it. I will not learn it under no circumstance. Alright, so uh, some example. Ngày mai đi biển nhé. Điên à? Trở lại như thế này. Ngày mai đi biển nhé. Điên à? Trở lại như thế này. So tomorrow will we go to the beach? Are you crazy? It is very cold. The second example. Con bóng nó mới có người yêu ấy. Thật không? Còn lâu mới tin. Con bóng nó mới có người yêu đấy. Thật không? Còn lâu mới tin. So bóng just has a new boyfriend. Really? I do not buy it. Okay? So the last part is some scenarios. I will give you some scenarios for you to figure out what is best to respond to um, this kind of situations. The first one. Mình mua tặng Lan quyển sách nhé. Mai là sinh nhật cô ấy rồi. Agree or disagree? Mình mua tặng Lan quyển sách nhé. Mai là sinh nhật cô ấy rồi. So will we buy Lan a new book for her birthday? Tomorrow is her birthday. Tây Ban Nha ở Bắc Âu à? Tây Ban Nha ở Bắc Âu à? Spain is in the north of Europe. Isn't it? This person is crazy. <laughs> um, the third one. Tâm bảo mai nó sẽ nghỉ việc để đi du lịch thế giới. Tâm bảo mai nó sẽ nghỉ việc để đi du lịch thế giới. So Tâm said that tomorrow she'll quit the job to go traveling the world. Okay, so um, how to respond? I'll see you next time. Thank you.